now for all you book lovers out there come over this way this one is for you because we are about to reveal the nominees for the 2021 blue peter book awards now the book trust judges managed to whittle it down to a list of six from 20 amazing books and here are the experts to tell us which ones made the cut Every year, thousands of you become our Book Awards judges. But what's so great about books in the first place? I like books because they're full of imagination. I like reading because it's like calming and relaxing and it can expand my imagination and give me new words and vocabulary. I have a big collection of books that's like this big. When I read a book, it makes me feel happy. It's not like you're going to be reading a book forever, so as soon as you read one book, you can move on to the next book, and that's what's probably my favourite part of reading. OK, books are pretty cool. And the books in this year's Book Awards are some of the coolest. I like fiction books because they, like, draw you in and they make you feel like you're one of the characters. It just gives you um, a little bit of imagination about this whole different world. They're really fun to read and they always give me a laugh. I like magical books because of the author's imagination coming to my world. First up are the three nominations for Best Story. A Kind of Spark is by Elle McNichol. Addie is on a school trip when she hears about the witch trials. Although they happened long ago, they happened in her town. Addie thinks there's more to the witch's story, just like there's more to her. Can Addie get her town to have a witch's memorial? Can she change how people think of the witch trials? And can Addie make everyone see her differently too? From mystical myths to explosive detectives. Anisha, the accidental detective. Schools Counseled is by Serena Patel and is illustrated by Emma McCann. Anisha has been working so hard on her volcano project for the science fair. She wants to win the first prize. It's a trip to the National Space Centre. But when the volcano explodes, school is cancelled and Anisha is disqualified from the science fair. It's really unfair as it wasn't her fault. Can Anisha and her best friend Milo, with his pet rat, work out who really did it? Sounds explosive. Next up. Life of Riley, Beginner's Luck is by Sam and James Green and is illustrated by Alexei Bitskoff. Riley only wants to do one thing at the fun fair. Visit the fortune teller. Could he be an astronaut or a West End star? Instead, Riley finds himself cursed. His life goes from one disaster to another. He even manages to superglue his class together. Enter New Kid, Brad Chicago. Super cool and stylish with an excellent stationery collection, and he wants to be Riley's friend. Can Riley get rid of the curse before Brad discovers he's a disaster waiting to happen? Those are the nominees for Best Story. Next up, the three shortlisted books with facts. I like non-fiction because it can, it can like boost your um, knowledge, and when you're like doing writing and stuff, it gives you like more like wow words. It gives you more knowledge and a wider range of vocabulary. It's all about facts and it can be like about history so you can learn about what happened in the world. I feel quite clever after I read some non-fiction books and I can put it in my English when I'm writing in school. The first book with facts nominee is... Inventors, Incredible Stories of the World's Most Ingenious Inventions is by Dr. Robert Winston and is illustrated by Jessamy Hawk. Discover the masterminds behind the greatest inventions in history. See Leonardo da Vinci's workshop, climb on board Hideo Shima's speedy bullet train, and visit Annie Turnbull Malone's beauty school. From Archimedes leaping from his bath to the internet and space travel, Inventors tells the story of people that changed our world. From incredible inventors to our awesome ancestors. The Humans is by Johnny Marks and is illustrated by Charlie Davies. From the Nubians to the Native Americans, our ancestors created many wonderful and wacky inventions, languages, art, medicines, music, stories and more. The Humans takes us from where it all began, digging through history up to the time of the Aztecs who lived nearly 1,000 years ago. This book shows us the astonishing things those ancient civilizations achieved and what they taught us. And last but not least. A 
day in the life of a poo, a gnu, and you is by Michael Barfield and is illustrated by Jess Bradley. What does a panda do all day long? How does your heart move blood around your body and what makes a rainbow shine? You can find the answers to those and lots more questions in the day in the life. It's full of interesting things about our hungry tummies and bossy brains, as well as busy beetles and deadly jellies. Find out how many years fit inside the sun and what makes volcanoes blow and lots, lots more. Those are the nominees for the 2021 Blue Peter Book Awards. And of course, it's up to our kid experts to choose who wins. So there you have it. It is our 2021 contenders for the best story and best book with facts. Well, you are going to have to wait a little while for the results, though, because the winning titles are voted for by over 200 children from 12 schools across the UK and all shall be revealed on World Book Day live on Blue Peter, which is Thursday, the 4th of March 2021. Hey guys, it's Adam. Make sure you subscribe to the Blue Peter channel, like this video, check out our playlists, and if you want to watch more Blue Peter content, then head over to the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.